kind of, I don't know if this is a random video, but I have had VHS tape that has very long blank film after this. Yeah, well, this is a very short video, but it's a with a two hour full tape actually. And here's the VHS tape I want to show you. And I want to tell you what I'm going to do with it. And that's the, um, the only thing I'm not, I'm, there's, here's the VHS tape I'm going to record over this. I'm not going to record all, all over that has some, I'm only going to record over that has a blank film on it. I'm, I'm only going to keep the copy that has the whole thing of this, of the Van Gogh. I'm not going to record over this. I don't mind having this copy. Even though I'm not really interested in it, not really into this stuff, but in my opinion, but that's okay. I don't mind using having this tape my for my collection. I don't mind click on my random VHS tapes as long as yeah. This is a nineteen ninety six. It's actually I believe this is a recycle from a from a a, a six hour tape. It's a it's actually look like a six hour blank tape. Yeah. For some reason, this is actually this part is not a blank spot. I did fast forward a little bit from the blank spot. This has the rest of the law of blank film during this. It's somewhere at the beginning of the tape, but it but it stopped at the end of the spot. It's still somewhere at the beginning of the tape. This is the whole thing of the full tape tape. And what I'm not keeping is is the film is the 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 real. I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna keep the. Um, I'm not gonna keep the. The blank spot. I think I'm gonna replace. I'm not gonna keep the reels either. I'm gonna swap with oversized reels, and or maybe or maybe another or a different reel or maybe I'll maybe I'll keep it or or maybe just the regular reels look like this, or, or with different shape looking besides these thingies right there. The uh of this VHS design that is. There are different kinds of VHS designs actually. There are different kinds of VHS tapes actually. You know, with the, uh, just the, like the design of the VHS looks. This is a Maxell tape. This is actually a Maxell blank tape from, yep. It's, I don't think this is a homemade VHS. I don't think it is. It's not really a homemade VHS. It's, I think it originally came with the packet pack with the Van Gogh, like as you can see. I do have another that looks similar like this, but which has oversized reels. So that thought I decided to plan to do this. And, it's, and if it says T120, I have to get rid of it. I have to remove the T120 piece since it's no longer it is. So yeah, because now I know that T120 means two hours. So yeah, yeah, there's a lot of blank film as well. But I'm not gonna keep it. I'm gonna only re re record over that was during the blank spot. Well, I'll tell you the reasons why why I'm record over it. I'm recording the Sesame Street sing along 1987 VHS. I'm copying it all from a VHS tape, and no, and it's not copyright protected. It works fine, including my DVD recordings, or when I dub it. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the VHS I'm recording. I make a homemade copy. And use a different shell VHS, and now, well, I do have one that has film strip. I don't get rid of that. I don't want to talk about it. It's hard to explain, but yeah. Because I can make, uh, the, um, the, guys, there's something I gotta tell you before I tell you about this. Um, I can record VHS tapes. I can fix and splicing VHS. I do like a, like a film, like, you know, like cutting and fixing and repairing these tapes. I do replace the reels and, and, uh, I can. Like I made the copy, for example, I made a homey VHS of this, but this is what it looked like. This is a very, this is a short film strip, not, it's no longer a, and I can, and I can remove some little, and I add the, add a less film, like let me add a different one. Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you. I have a lot, I have a lot of extra reels, I, I, like, it's kind of like I destroy VHS, but I don't, not real, real not you really. Like here are the VHS shells, I, you'd be surprised. Actually my homemade tape, but I don't want... And then here's the VHS with no... No reels. Here are the reels. Here are the reels of this. Here's, well, I think I'm going to use that for right now. I could have... I would come, I'm just going back using this. 
here's the no here oh and for some reason this one doesn't have a lid but there's no gray metal ones right here but this thing still works fine and I do have uh, let me see if I have any VHS that oh I do have some oh yeah reels I have plenty I have some reels I can see, can see I have the here's the reel I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use this later and this one I'm gonna use that as well later as well I'm not sure I have to think about that later but oh yeah I did like splicing but it looked like an oversized reel I think I'll use the oversized reels so is the uh, no, I don't know about this one because there's no thing right here so I can't use that maybe I'll just use the different reel I don't know or I'll just add it I just want the reel to look same or perfectly but most VHS tapes have the reels but they look but they're both the same mostly except like well some there are some there are VHS tapes that look two different reels but they're but they're not they're not very common I do have one VHS that has the different V8, it has been pretty di much different. I have here, but yep, you can tell the this one is a little different around the reel. This copy has the moaning sound only at the end. So I, two Grease movies I have uh, had them. I haven't saw all. The, I haven't seen the whole movie of Grease and Grease Two. Like I don't think it, I'm not sure if that Grease movies are grown up movies, but. I, even though it is rated PG, it's not rated R. I, you probably know that if you remember Grease. And that's why I made the homemade cop. I made a, this is actually my homemade copy of, which since I finally own this tape, until I get, I think I'll just gonna keep it until I get a retail VHS. Until I, I will get that hiding on. And that's why I made a homemade copy. This is actually my homemade version copy of the Sesame Street Game Ready to Read. I just, like I did. But actually, this is actually recycled from my old, the old copy of Three Stooges. But I still have the old copy, but I just replaced it with, swapped with a different reel. Now it looks the same way, it looks similar like this. Yep. Now it looks the same design, except the lid is different. Except the lid. So yeah, so those are the ones I'm not... So that's what I'm gonna do. So I don't want to. So yeah, I don't know what to say for this video. So I'm gonna have to let it be. So yeah, that's the little copy I'm kind of not keeping. So yeah, thanks for watching.